Hello game makers, this is Game Maker Rob and today we are going to be doing a quick tutorial on slider bars, so let's get started. Okay, so before we begin, um, all I've got for this example is a room with one object in it here, uh, calling it OBJ GUI. We're only going to use the create layer and the, sorry, the create event and the draw GUI layer. I've got two examples, I'll show you them in a minute, and I've got two sprites, I've got uh, the bar sprite, so uh, these are the five long things you can see, and the important thing to note is that they are centered in the middle left, and then the slider bar is centered in the middle center, and that's it, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to show you two examples and the first example is just going to be pretty basic. Uh, we're going to display five slider bars and we are going to move, we're going to make the slider bar jump to wherever the mouse is if it's over one of the five bars. Uh, we're not going to save uh, where the bar is, that's why it's going to jump back after we move the mouse out of the collision range. But um, this is the basics of how that I would do a slider bar. Okay, so we've got our five bars and every time we move the mouse over it, you can see the bar snaps to the mouse position. And how we're doing this is we're using start X to get this left mouse coordinate. And then uh, YY is, sorry, XX is just going to equal this, this position here. And y, uh, YY is going to equal the middle, the center point of each bar. And we're just checking for a collision with the mouse inside this rectangle, this one, this one, this one. So we're just checking for a collision with the mouse. If you are using horizontal bars, then knowing the uh, far left coordinate on, on the X plane is really, really useful because if say, for example, this is 100 and the mouse over here is 150 then we know the distance between here and here is 50 pixels and then if we, if we also know the width of this bar sprite which we do then uh, whatever percentage 50 pixels is of the whole thing is basically the percentage of how far the bar is across the slider and then um, if you're just having things like music and sound volume, then 50% of the way across the bar would equal 50% of the sound volume. Uh, say, for example, you have uh, a number that isn't 100, though, like maybe uh, 125, then this will return the proper number, so 62.5. 62 um, we just worked it out based on the percentage of the way across the bar that the mouse is that the slider bar is and, and that's it. So as long as we know distance from here to wherever the bar is, that's how we work out the percentage. So now all we need to do really is save where the bar is, wherever we move it to, that's what we need to do and that's the slider bars. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the create event. Now that we're able to track how far along the bar the mouse is, percentage wise, um, we're gonna use a couple of things to hold those values. So we're going to have a new an enumerator. Uh, this value is going to hold the total value um, if you have it all the way to 100%. And this value is going to hold how far along the bar it actually is. The bar actually is. So for example, halfway along the bar that has a total value of 100, this value would equal 50. And we need a little for loop because we've got five bars and the array is going to have two entries for each bar. It's going to have a total and selected. Total is going to be a random number between five and 30 and selected. We're going to start them all off on zero, uh, which is going to be the far left. So now we've done that, we're going to go into the draw GUI area again. And this second example is larger, but it's basically just a, this expanded. This is the same, this is the same. 
Our first new line is percentage. This is going to give us a value between 0 and 1. So for example, halfway across would give us 0 0.5. Slider bar X is going to save the value um, for the mouse coordinate in the GUI layer on the bar or where the bar is basically. So this, this is the X value of where the bar needs to be. We're going to check for collision with the mouse here. And if we click with the mouse, then we're going to save the mouse coordinate. Uh, this function is really useful for that, uh, for the GUI layer. And if you're going to be drawing buttons or slider bars, I would definitely recommend using the GUI layer. Indicator length, this is going to give us exactly how long in pixels, uh, the distance from, let me just run the game so I can show you. So it's the exact length in pixels distance from here to here is. This is the indicator length. And then percentage again. Uh, we're going to get a value between 0 and 1. And then we're going to times it by 100. Uh, why are we going to multiply it by 100 and then divide it by 100 here? That's because we're using the round function. Um, if we didn't multiply this by 100, it would be between 0 and 1. If we round is it round a number that's between 0 and 1, it's always going to give us 0. That's why we, we multiply it. So if we're halfway across, it's going to be 0 0.5 times by 100 would be 50. If you had like another number like 41.8, that's where the round function comes in better. And then we just need to update the indicator X, the indicator X, sorry. That's what this is going to do here. And then we just draw the slider bar and we're drawing the values of selected and total. Um, <laughs> looking at this, that I made this uh, before summer. So I was like, what, four months ago? It's not, um, I could probably do a better job in optimizing this code, but it works. Um, you can see all the values are here. You, you can click or you can drag it up and down. It doesn't matter what the, the total value is. Um, but that's it. This is how to do slider bars. Uh, thank you for watching and I will catch you next time. Bye for now.